and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147, and it's time to unbox two more Paint Gem mini kits. Goodness help me when it comes to updating my logbook um, for September, but I have two more of their kits to share with you. These, all the kits now that I have, have the new packaging, but we'll start with the one on the top. Uh, keep a little bit of mystery on the next one but this one is the safari edition so this is kit number 18 and um, we do have a list of names for this one um, on what animals that we do get in this kit if you have any with the old packaging but still want to know the names of them all they are detailed on their website so it does tell you which one is which not as bad with the likes of the safari animals but when it comes to the likes of the house plants <laughs> knowing the names of all of those unless you are let me try the other way doesn't seem to want to slip off uh, Unless you are, you know, an avid plant lover, they're challenging, to say the least. So, we have, of course, the new packaging. Just to confirm, for the toolkits, though I won't do it with both, but in the toolkit, you get a nice white tray, you get some wax heart wax in a little container you get a squishy for going on your pen um, which comes with a single placer and possibly a 10 placer but then you also get a three placer as well so you've got a choice of which ones and then you get a pair of white tweezers all in a lovely little drawstring bag I need to find another use for these so the boxes themselves can be folded the other way out and then you can use them for packaging stuff gifting stuff to people all the rest of it I mean yes it does have some branding on it but it's it's definitely not huge um so you can you can use it for passing on gifts to family friends etc which is a good use of them so down to the painting so these are the colours in the Safari Edition. We'll have a look at how many in a minute. Uh, but we do have quite a few greys, some browns, but there is some pops of colour as well. Okay, was it 12 down here? Yeah, so 12, 14, 17. So we only have 17 colours in this one. So this will definitely fit in my storage that I prefer to use some of them there are just far too many colors uh, but this uses all alphabet so I love the fact it comes with stickers so they're that size uh, but it comes with stickers for each one which fit perfectly on the storage bottles and we have we have a zebra I'm going to keep this, I'm going to turn this upside down because I think there might be a couple that I struggle with. But we have a zebra, uh, an ibex, that's one I did look. What's this one? A fennec fox. These are all partial, so you don't have to do this white background. This looks like a rhino. Oh yes, turn him upside down, he definitely looks like a rhino. Uh, a lion. A monkey or a gorilla it's down as a gorilla I think it's more gorilla like than monkey like uh, then we have a lemur uh, is that oh a buffalo so we have a buffalo looks a bit like the um, warthog from Lion King uh, then we have a camel a panda a hippo Oh, what's that one? I kind of see for looking. Oh, a hyena. Have a hyena. An elephant. A tiger. A giraffe. And a koala bear. So it's just the heads of each of the animals. 
I thought these would look amazing uh, once framed in the likes of a nursery. Baby's nursery, nice little collection of images. How many, is it 16, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So you could make yourself a nice grid wall with those in some frames and that would look amazing on a baby's nursery. I'm just doing them purely for the fun, but I like options for things and I think that would work amazing for that. So that is the Safari edition. Now I will of course pop a link down to them, down to so you can have a browse of all the kits. Um, I also have a discount code which will also be in the comments. But the second one to go with this, uh, my daughter's reasoning it was animal-ish. Um, but it is the Zodiac edition. Of course they're not all animals but it does have some. And when we're grouping up kits it's not a not a bad idea so we get the nice toolkit a lot more bright colors in this one look at some of these reds oranges blue purple uh, we've even got a few more turquoisey blues as well as well as some lighter colors and not a lot of black for this one so very nice colors do of course get each one because quite often um, you remember what's your star sign, zodiac sign, but remembering somebody else's can be harder, uh, but you do get all of those and they are listed. Let's have a look how many colours this one has, because I imagine this one has quite a few. It does. 24, so that'll be 24, 36, but take off two. So 34 different colours in this one. We actually have some symbols. We have an umbrella, a lightning bolt and a heart uh, in with these because by the time they've done the alphabet and the numbers trying not to hit any numbers that can look similar to others mainly um, but by the time they've gone through their letters and numbers for this one they needed a few symbols. No coffee cup though, oh well. Can't get a coffee cup in all of them, can we? Right, I'm definitely gonna need this because I do not know all of these. So we have Libra, Taurus. Oh, it does actually, I've just realized when I've looked at Taurus, which is mine, uh, it does have like just the shortened version. So that'll save me looking them up. So Taurus, Leo. Uh, scorpion or Scorpio, Aries, Aqua, Aquarius, see I still need it for the shortened names, Gemini, Sagittarius, Pisces, uh, is that Virgo? Yeah, Virgo, Cancer, with the crab and, is it Capricorn? Yeah, Capricorn <laughs> with the lab. I'm not very up to knowing the zodiac signs at all. But yeah, you get all the zodiac signs in that one. And I think that is, by the time you've popped on those colors, I think that's gonna look amazing. Um, these are square kits, by the way, they are all square. Um, but yeah, they are the two unboxing for today. I do have more, um, so if there is any that you're interested in, check out my past videos and I think I have two more to come, um, just showing you the inside of the rest of the boxes so that you can see the images. Of course, the website does show you all the images as well, but sometimes it's just Nice to see a little unpacking, but I'm gonna pop these two in my stash. I'm actually quite excited to do the Safari one. In fact, there's a few I'm quite excited to do. Um, I am going on holiday soon for a week. I'm planning on taking my national parks and around the world um, to finish those off so I can start kitting some of these up. But you never know how much time you're gonna have to diamond paint. I may have none, I may have loads. So I kinda don't know whether to take another kit anyway. Um, 
or maybe I'll take up, take with me um, one of the smaller kits that I am going to be kitting up soon, like a 30 by 40. Um, that's a video coming up. I haven't yet kitted it up, but it's coming up this next week or so. So maybe I'll take one of them. Who knows? I am itching to start these. But yeah, all the links will be in the description below. But I thank you so much for joining me and I'll speak to you all again soon.